Welcome back friends. Today I have another one of these D7s from Fishhead Custom Lures and I want to paint a brown trout pattern on here. Kind of a simplified version of a brown trout. So let's get started. I've already taped the bill. I got a white base coat on the on the bait and I have some opaque yellow from Createx loaded into the airbrush. <clears throat> and I want to paint the sides about halfway up with this opaque yellow. Try to leave just a little bit of white showing on the belly. I want to make sure and get the gill plates with the yellow. Kind of like that. I'll give the airbrush a quick rinse. Now I want to add some Wicked Orange from Wicked Colors into the airbrush. Just a couple drops. And I want to paint about the top half of this bait now orange, uh, covering up part of the yellow. Let some of that blend in together, but I'll try to preserve some of the yellow on the gill plates. Something along those lines. <clears throat> I'll rinse the airbrush out again. Now I want to add some transparent dark brown from Createx into the airbrush. And now I'm going to start at the top, work my way down the sides, darker on the top, lighter as we come down the sides. And I'm going to try to leave just a little bit of that yellow showing. Like that. Now I'm going to heat set. Okay, so I gave the bait a good heat set. I rinsed the airbrush out and I've added some pearlized copper from Createx into the airbrush. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the brown. I'm going to start at the top little heavier at the top, lighter as I come down the sides and still try to leave a little of the yellow showing. A 
couple more drops of paint. I'm going to rinse the airbrush out again, and I'll be back. Okay, I've rinsed the airbrush out, but I have not heat set the bait. I've added a little bit of Detail Moss Green from Wicked Colors into the airbrush. And all I want to do is darken up the spine a little bit with this green. I don't even really want to turn it green. I just kind of want to darken up that brown color a little bit. Just right down the spine. Real light. Just kind of like that. That's all I really want to do. So now I'm going to give it a good heat set, rinse the airbrush out, and I'll be back. Okay, I've heat set the bait. I've rinsed the airbrush out real good. I've added some opaque white into the brush. And now I have this stencil from Anarchy Models. It's an HS47, it says. <clears throat> and I'm going to use it to just paint some white spots, some irregular white spots on about the upper half of both sides of this bait. Try to make them fairly dark. Like that. Maybe need a couple more right here. Okay. Quick heat set. I'll flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. like that. I'll give it another quick heat set. And I'm going to take some opaque red and just put a drop on my piece of scrap paper. I have the trusty dried up Bic ink pen here. And just very randomly, I'm going to put 
a red spot in just a few of these white spots. like that. Only going to do a few of them. There's usually less red spots than there is black spots on a brown. Okay, I'll give it a quick heat set. So now I'll put just a drop of black paint on my scrap paper and I'll come back and put a black dot now on all the rest of them. You can make these dots as big or small as you want. They don't have to be round. They don't have to be perfectly in the center. They don't have to be perfect. I'm going to give this a good heat set now, and I'll be back. So I have the bait heat set. I've rinsed out the airbrush, and I've added some opaque black into the brush. Now I want to use this same stencil to make some little bigger black spots on the back of this bait. kind of like that. Now I want to give this brown trout some gold eyes. So there's our simple brown trout pattern. I'll give it a clear coat and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Happy fishing. <laughs>